let's talk about participants. There are some feedback features that uh, allow students and you to engage with when you are going through a presentation. Uh, so when your participants click on the participants icon at the bottom of the toolbar, you will see everybody that's listed in the current meeting. Anybody who might be in a waiting room as well. As the host, you would see that. Um, what's nice about this feature is that I can see that uh, student web, this student joined from the web browser and they didn't sign in to uh, City Schools account. So that's why it's telling me they are a guest. Um, but down at the bottom of this tool is uh, a set of feedback features or controls. Students are gonna see different ones than us uh, as the host. So let's pull up a student view on the web. Both the web and the Chromebook app uh, look to be the same set of features. So let's pull over. This student is joined. And when they click on participants, they are listed at the top. So they join from the web and that is them. They don't see that they are a guest or didn't sign in. So that's only something the host sees. Uh, and they can see me as a teacher and then the other student in the class. But down at the bottom is what we're talking about. These are the feedback uh, tools that students have where they could raise a hand in the class and that would show up for the teacher. All of these are toggles so they can turn them on and off. So if I say, yes, I agree. No, I don't agree. Please go slower. Please go faster. And then there's a set of more where they can give me thumbs down, thumbs up, clapping, um, need a break and went away. So maybe they ran to the bathroom or something. Um, on the web, there are there is no ability for students to change the uh, coloring or the, um, the view of these icons. They are all that same color. Uh, teachers using a desktop app are going to see that they have the ability to change that. Uh, and students on a Chromebook, all these icons are actually blue. Uh, but when you join in the web right now, uh, that's what uh, the students are going to see. So, um, when a student raises their hand. <clears throat> As the teacher, you would see that that popped up. So let's pull up our teacher view now, and I can see that this student has raised their hand. The other piece to this is you do get some tallies of, uh, let's say you asked the entire class a question, and you wanted to hear a yes or no. As they select different options, you'll get a tally of how many students did that. Um, let's try that out with our students. So if I asked a question, And I want their feedback, and the student's gonna say yes. And let's grab a Chromebook here, the student says yes. As the teacher, let's see. At the bottom, I get a little count, so I can see two students. So when you have 25 kids, 30 kids, uh, this is helpful just to gauge, really like a poll, uh, to see how many people are answering that way. Then as the teacher, um, next to the feedback controls, you have the ability to clear it all, kind of start fresh.